I'm back with a new tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to do zoom transition effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's jump into the edit page, but first let's see today's intro. Welcome back to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare zoom transition effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. Currently we are in edit page and we're going to stay in edit page because the whole effect will be prepared in edit page only. So first thing that we need to do is let's go to effect library, open toolbox, go to effects and we find here adjustment clip. Just drag and drop adjustment clip onto timeline uh, video layer 2 so on the top of the videos below so next thing we need to shorten this adjustment clip and just press ctrl D and you can see that we have two options here one is in seconds so and one is with frames so today we're gonna use this one with frames because we for this transition effect we just need uh, let's say 10 to 14 uh, frames and uh, just use always even numbers because uh, when you shorten the clip and you put it in the between these two clips uh, it can't be like five frames on one side and six frames on the other side so the numbers should be even all the time so let's change it to 12 frames and uh, let's drag this uh, adjustment clip in the in the middle of those these two clips so let's check if it is right there yes it is so zero zero so first thing is uh, that let's go back to effect library once we are here open fx and drag and drop zoom blur in and put it into adjustment clip so next thing is let's go to a video transition and grab smooth cut and put it between these two uh, clips highlight it and go to inspector you can see that we have like six frames double click and put it like four frames the whole duration of this effect will be 12 frames only so that this transition has to be like four frames not longer or shorter uh, let's see what we have done till now so looks nice this transition let's close the effect library and let's go to uh, inspector so one thing is let's highlight adjustment clip and go to transform put the playhead in the between uh, these two clips in the middle of adjustment clip so one thing is we need to zoom in let's zoom in so what kind of amount we will need so let's say 3.5 and we're going to put 3.5 uh, let's keyframe it and let's go to the end of adjustment clip just double click it and we have a keyframe here as well but no zoom uh, effect so let's go to the back of adjustment clip and uh, do the same with zoom so we have keyframe this one as well so let's play it through we can see that it's very it's linear so we have to change something else you can see this uh, triangle shape so what we need to do is uh, we have to ease in and ease out so let's click on this dot here and use this icon so you can see that it's softened so the the pathway is uh, more soft than before so let's uh, do it on the right hand side as well so press this one and we have ease in and ease out let's see the result yeah much smoother much nicer oh doesn't look so bad looks really nice so next thing is let's put the playhead in the between these two clips or in the middle of the adjustment clip and go to effects so what we need now, what we need to do now is to uh, tell uh, the effect how much blur we need. 
So we can see here that the blur is on 4.4, so we have to change it and uh, let's go back to 4. One thing is let's keyframe it as well and put it till the end. So somebody will probably go with less than that, let's 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, it doesn't matter, it's um, project to project uh, can be different. So we, we're going to go with uh, 1 and like before with zoom, let's go back to the beginning gadget just of the adjustment clip and just double click on the number and put it zero in and go to the back and double click on the number zero and enter. So now we have the fact that it's already finished. It looks nice, smooth and that's the fact that we have done. But it's still missing something. So every effect needs some uh, sound effect as well. So let's go back to media pool, drag and drop this uh, whoosh effect. But you can see that it's really too long for this. Let's play it through and you will see that uh, it doesn't look good. So what we can do here, you can see that we have speed change. Double click on speed change and go to speed percentage. So let's go with 1000. So we have shortened this one and let's play it through. Ah, doesn't sound very good. So what we can do now, let's highlight the sound clip and go to pitch and drag this to minus 24. So let's play it through now. Yeah, much better. So next thing is like change the volume as well. So we can go with minus nine and let's see, it's too quiet. So let's go with minus five. So much better, much, much better. So let's see it in full screen. And yeah, it looks nice. So this is it. We have prepared this zoom transition effect. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this effect, please let me know down in comments. And uh, that's it. Uh, see you next time. This one was really fast and easy. You can play with settings and sound effects to get as much as you can from this effect. So if you need some other transitions, let me know in the comments below. As always, if you have found this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up. Leave your feedback or comments down below and for all newcomers don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And of course don't forget to check my other videos as well. Till next time, have a good one.